Someone once wrote, Hypocrite, hypocrite, where you going? You're all polished up, but your knickers are showing. You stand on the corner shouting to the crowd, and everything you say is boisterous and loud. Hypocrite, hypocrite, better live what you pray. You babble till sunset with nothing to say. Let's be honest. Hypocrisy is a temptation for every single one of us. It's easy for us to see other people's sins, but difficult to see our own. We often don't practice what we preach. We often do what we condemn others for doing. And when we do that, we play the hypocrite, which is dangerous. The Holy Spirit, through Apostle Paul in Romans 2, has some very strong words for hypocrites. Therefore, he says, you have no excuse, O man, every one of you who judges. For in passing judgment on another, you condemn yourself because you, the judge, practice the very same things. We know that the judgment of God rightly falls on those who practice such things. Do you suppose, O man, you who judge those who practice such things and yet do them yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or are you to presume on the riches of His kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead to your repentance? But because of your heart and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. Beloved, we should all strive to be more concerned about our own sin than the sin of others and to judge with an equal and a righteous judgment when we judge ourselves and others. And above all, that equal and righteous judgment of ourselves should lead to our own repentance. Otherwise, we fall into hypocrisy. Hypocrite, hypocrite, stop all your drumming. Wash up your face. Jesus is coming. Hypocrite, hypocrite, before it's too late, better look in the mirror and clean your own plate. Change begins in you. The Change Begins in You is brought to you in part by Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Companies, Mitchell Tire and Wrecker in Collinsville, and Mowdy Cabinetry.